In this video we're going to continue our introduction to services in HP Helion Staccato. I have my microcloud running on my Mac and I also have deployed the scaling sample application from GitHub. We're going to dig a little deeper into this application and see how service instances are specified and created. We're going to look at how we can read service instance credentials and other information from VCAP services. We're also going to look at hooks which can be used to create database schemas and then finally look at connecting to the database from the command line using DB shell. Let's dig into the scaling application. We can click on the services and see the database is a MySQL database. Let's jump to the application and see how the database is used. This is scaling our sample digital marketing app and let's face it, who wouldn't want a self-driving electric bike? Let's scroll to the bottom and pop our email in. So our email has been stored in the database, but how did that database get there? Let's flip to our manifest.yaml file. This file describes the application requirements, memory, etc., as well as any requirements for services. Under the services section, you can see we're defining a database named name-db, name being a variable for the application name. So in this case, the database name would be scaling-db. Once Staccato deploys the application, it will create the database. The information needed to connect to the database will be injected into the application via environment variables. To help see this, we have an info page that you can use to view the VCAP services environment variable. VCAP services is a JSON document that will contain a node for each service your application uses. Here you can see the usernames, passwords, connection strings, etc. needed by the application to connect. Note the IP address is private. Application frameworks usually have easy ways to read in environment variables. In this case, we're parsing the VCAP services with a JSON parser. The last piece of the puzzle is how we can get a schema created. One of the several ways to do this is to use hooks. In Staccato pre-running section, you can see we are running a script. This script could be anything, but in our application, it's running a rake task to create a database schema, which basically creates a table named registers. Now you're probably wondering how to connect to this database given its IP is private. One way you can is using the staccato db shell command. This command creates a connection through the database and loads the MySQL client. If we take a look at the tables, we see the registers and viewing the contents will give us our email from earlier. That completes our quick introduction to services. Check out the accompanying doc and for other videos in this series.